So actually, I decided to run in elections uh, during my first year at university. It was always something that I was quite uh, passionate about in terms of representing students. It was something that I've done in my secondary school and in my sixth form as well. So when I first found out about the opportunity, something that I really wanted to take on. Um, but yeah, that's how I got. Uh, that's how I got involved with the students' union, uh, the societies, the course reps, X, Y, Z, and then uh, yeah, I got to the point where I really wanted to make that change on a bigger and bigger stage. So I went from course rep doing change inside the classroom to making change for my school as a school rep. I then became a student trustee, and then you know, for me, it was just that natural kind of climb in terms of trying to make the student experience better for so many different people, and uh, it all came about of after realizing that. No student has the same experience. So although I was quite blessed, unfortunate in terms of having a pretty, pretty decent student experience, had good friends, had good times, good interactions. Not everyone was like that. So that's something that I wanted to kind of standardise for everyone. Okay, so self-development is absolutely amazing in this role, especially as I stepped up from vice president to the president as well. So after doing uh, a year in the role as VP, I thought maybe if I stayed in this role, it's not something that I could get more from. So I really wanted to step up for the president and one was for my personal development and then the other one was for the career development and the student union development as well. Uh, so there were those areas here, but it's just, it's just a kind of scope and understanding of, all right, so what's our financial position? I don't think about this. Uh, how do, I, how do I, I tackle something that's a bit different? And then working with the university and then working with the NUS this year as well, which is something that we've brought closer to campus this year. Um, so there's just so many different areas of um, development. Like I'm developing myself, I'm part of the NUS uh, Junior Development Zone Committee as well. So I'm doing stuff here, I'm doing stuff there. And these are all opportunities I got from the role. My biggest highlight was uh, we were running in the election as president. So I had spent that year kind of knowing students, getting to know what they were like, what some of their issues were, and then actually addressing those issues as well and making sure that they were dealt with, closing those loops down. And then at the end of it, you know, when I spoke to students, they're like, yeah, of course we'll back you. We voted for you last time, we'll vote for you this time as well. Um, oh, we really like what you did here. The Society of the Week initiative was really cool. Um, the, you know, like XYZ was really good that you've done and like you've helped our sports team even though we were quite small. Um, most recently at the Vice Chancellor Student Awards as well, um, but a table tennis came up to me and was like, thank you so much for putting our application through because we are having some difficulty getting recognised as a club and you helped that, so it was stuff like that. always making sure that the student focus is central to everything that you do so knowing your kind of audience is very important so knowing what challenges the unions are going through what challenges the universities have the HE sector so all these things will influence your decision but it comes back to the heart of the world which is what the students want how does it impact them um, so get to know the student body as well yeah my final words for you are that the SU president role is the most chaotic, it is absolutely crazy, but I love it, I absolutely love it. Like, I come into work every single day and I know something's going to be different. I know there's there's something for me to work on, that I know there's a life that I can improve. There's, uh, I met someone at, uh, at a cafe the other day and I met them at the society and they were like, thank you so much for pointing out this other shop um, for me to explore in Leicester. I went to the shop, I got offered a job and now I'm working here as well, so I've got two, three jobs that I just to make it comment about oh have you tried this shop out so it's just a fly it's absolutely amazing you will never have the same day twice and I absolutely love it like if I could run in my fifth election I would do so uh, I would do it all again it's absolutely amazing mm -hmm.